So this is gonna be a quarantine area for the new new cow coming in. It's a cow, right? Yeah, steer. <laughs> steer. And uh, this is just so it can acclimate to the new environment and get used to its new friends over here. We'll introduce you to, uh, to those two in, in a little bit. And we're gonna get, go ahead and set these, but we had to, we had to dig these about 24, 24 inches into the ground. And uh, we're gonna be putting about seven posts in here. So it's time to get back to work. to get a little video of us doing the work. That's for you right there, little buddy. Big buddy. Since I've been on a whole food plant-based diet, I haven't, I haven't been able to get my pants tight enough. But somehow I still managed to break my belt today. Look at that. Casualties of war, I suppose. That's ingenuity. Good time to get back to work now. All right, we're going up here to get some water. Took a little bit of a break. There's actually gonna be eight holes over there. Anyway, I'm going up here. Also, See how well everybody else is doing on their volunteer task for the day. Hey, William's looking good, man. You've been working hard, haven't you? How'd you hear about this place? Um, through our vegan society in Greenville. Oh, cool. So I think Rick posted on there, maybe is how I saw it or something, so. Awesome, thanks for coming out. Who are you? Just a volunteer, just a friendly volunteer. Oh, okay. Well, you're doing a good job too. All right, we're gonna go check out Jimmy and Willie. They're right behind me now. I think that's Jimmy. What's up, Jimmy? What's up, buddy? Oh, uh, look at you. And Willie, Willie, come here, buddy. Yeah. Look at you, you're ready for some action. Uh-oh. Hey. <laughs> He's friendly, I just don't want to get dirty is all, because he loves to rub up on you. See? They are so smart and lovable. Let's go in there. Let him out. Whoa. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Jimmy. Jimmy. Come on now. Uh oh. <laughs> so that was Jimmy and Willie. We just, we're a little skittish because we're just trying not to get his as muddy as they are, but they are definitely adorable. They're both about a year and a half. Jimmy and Willie, they came from two different uh, situations. One, one came from Myrtle Beach. He was found in the, in the woods with his sisters, and the mother had given, died after giving birth. And somebody happened along and found him. And so he took the three girls and, and, and Jimmy home, but the three sisters died, but Jimmy survived. So he lived there a couple months, um, as long as he could keep them. But Jimmy grew up with dogs, so Jimmy thinks he's a dog. Uh, until he came to us. And Willie, he's from Eastern, he's from actually the Raleigh area. And um, I'm not 100% sure of his story, but I know he had a broken leg and was dropped off at a vet's office. And uh, he actually went through uh, swimming therapy at um, North Carolina State University, because they said that they, it was, too healed to, uh, to, to set it, that it would be too risky to operate, so they recommended therapy. But today, you know, six, eight months later, he's fine. 
he doesn't even have a limp anymore. It took them about four months um, to get them to uh, like each other. And now they're just best buds. They sleep in the same little hut together and they're just best friends. But it took, like I said, a long time to get them to that point. I'll give them a snack. Oh, you're coming without it. <laughs> what? Want some hay? Well, Cassidy is about seven months old. His mom is over there. And he came from Eastern North Carolina where there were, he was actually living with homesteaders um, that were using them, um, the mother for dairy. And then Cassidy someday would have been meat for them. And it's just a cycle that they, they do. Um, in, a, in the dairy industry, uh, calves are taken away from their mother in the first hour or two, which is horrific. Um, he's seven months old and he still nurses numerous times a day from his mom. And they're, this is amazing that they're even apart. Here comes mom. Usually she's watching over like she's coming now. Um, she doesn't take her, her eyes off of them. They play, they sleep together, snuggle together. I mean, a complete mother-child bond. So he's been here since uh, with his mother since December 30th they came. Want some more? Ah, here comes mom. Wow. What's happening? <laughs> she's coming quick. Mom's a cow because she's had a calf and she loves her treats. Oh, I know. And a female cow that hasn't had a calf is a heifer. And then Cassidy has been castrated, so he's a steer. If he hadn't been, he'd be a bull. He's a steer from northeastern Ohio. These two are miniature cows. They're Dexter cows. So they're about a half to um, um, a third of the size of a, like a full-size dairy cow. They'll get to be like six or 700 pounds. The steer coming in, he's 1,300 pounds. I guess he's a real people cow. Staff at the cattle farm, that they've just fallen in love with him. He follows them everywhere. He plays with the dogs and the cats. And he doesn't stay with the other cows too much. He wants to be with people. So they went to the cattle farm owner and asked him if he'd be willing to spare him. And uh, he said he would. And so he's in a foster right now in Ohio and he's coming down to us sometime later this week or next week. And he sounds like a real special guy. Now that was a fulfilling day's worth of work. We got to volunteer at a sanctuary. What better thing to do with your spare time? I'm a little bit under the weather, you know, but I jumped in anyways and, you know, figured it <clears throat> might be good for me, might help me heal up a little bit quicker. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, uh, getting ready to plant some onion bulbs in the, in the garden and uh, then I'm gonna chop this video up and uh, hopefully I got some good photo photos for the uh, website, changinghartsfarm.org. Now, they're not in operation yet, uh, and that, you know, it's not a public thing yet. Um, they're getting ready to be a 501c3, and you'll be able to go there, and I think their, their goal is to pay people who aren't vegan <clears throat> to actually come and check out the, check out the, uh, the sanctuary. So, if you're not a vegan, you can get paid to go there now it's not a lot you know a few bucks five bucks or something like that is is what i've heard I, now don't quote me on that i'm not a representative of changing a heart's farm but i mean that's a cool concept pay people to come see the animals experience them learn a little bit more about this lifestyle the ethics behind it maybe even a few other variables like uh, you know maybe they'll talk about some other things because uh because rick and his wife are just amazing people who know a lot about this whole thing um they got their own story that's that's just a beautiful story and so it's awesome to be a part of it help out in every way i can and, and my wife and my son got to jump in and a few other people a guy named jeff and amanda from greenville greenville south carolina and a guy named troy 
from Charlotte. Seems like a super awesome guy as well. We pulled it off, man. I mean, the goal was to get these post holes dug and <clears throat> get everything ready for them to finish up on Thursday and the new uh, cow or whatever, um, it's going to be here Friday. So <clears throat> its name is Lucky and uh, be sure to uh, just follow their page. They got a Facebook page right now you can follow. It's, uh, I guess, Changing Hearts Farm. So you can just check that. I'll probably put a link to it in the description and maybe if I post about this on the post at Vegan Walk. So thanks for watching and thanks for your support. Hopefully we can get more people out there next time to lend a helping hand. They, they paid us by giving us a, a meal at the end of the day and man, that was so good. It made it so worth it. But, but even without the meal, I mean, it just, that was just the icing on the cake. I mean, it just was great being out there in the fresh air and to see the animals, see the cause, you know, face to face. And, <clears throat> excuse me, oh, gotta get over this. Uh, a little cold, but you know, vegan strong. Anyway, so yeah, it was great to be out there, get some fresh air, do something different, you know, use different muscles than I normally get to use when I'm behind the desk or behind the camera. So, uh, you know, it was a great opportunity. I, I don't regret it at all. And I'll definitely be back next time they, you know, one pops up, another opportunity like that occurs, I'm going to be there. So hopefully we'll see you there next time. And thanks again.